down in the actual game itself. I'm trying to learn it though. But I've made some decent things with a few. Hmm. Oh, what the hell is this? Okay. Welcome to Jig's Guide, Redstone Basics. My name's Jigarbob, and I'll be your guide. To begin your learning, head to the start posters and get yourself a minecart. Sit in it, and then press the button. Are there... is it in here? Guess I just place it here. I have no idea what's going on. You made it. Sometimes you'll have to push a button or pull a lever to continue. Everything you see here is powered by redstone. What the hell? I have no idea what that just happened redstone then. Redstone can be found as ore deep underground. You'll need an iron pick or better to mine it. Redstone can be used for so many things like doors automatic farming systems, and even combination locks. Heck, even the animated characters right here in the mine are powered by redstone. I want to know how to make that. I don't know. Components next to redstone and blocks powered by redstone will activate. Check out the redstone lamps that turn on when the block of redstone is next to them or when they're powered by the redstone dust. That's actually quite cool, to be honest. You can even do stuff like ejecting players from minecarts with redstone. Now you see what power there is with redstone, step on the pressure plate sitting on the blocks of gold, and you're ready to begin the basics. Okay. Okay. Now the real fun begins. You All unlock right. the basics. Head in there and learn how to use and play with redstone power. This is gonna hurt. Okay, free build, test room, the basics. So, oh yeah, it's definitely this one. Pressure plates. When you stand on them, they emit redstone power and can activate redstone components like doors. For the sake of this tutorial, you can only place them on blocks of gold. Try it now. Uh, before we continue, I just realized this is a trap chest. A trap chest has like a red thing around it. Made it. Whenever you see a block of gold, put a pressure plate right on it and see what it does. Okay, like this for example. Pressure plates power components. They also power blocks themselves. Here you can see their range of power. Blocks adjacent to the power block also have a range of power. Any component in this combined range will be powered as you can see with the redstone lamps. Climb up and step on the pressure plate to see. Ah, uh, not bad. Could be better, but if you didn't already notice, redstone is able to do a lot of stuff. All of these components do something different when you step on your pressure plate. Okay, that's uh is this something? door opening. The pressure plate is powering the redstone dust which transmits the really? door. Really? Three, two, one, go, go! Damn it. Yes. I'm gonna give you some levers now. For the sake of the tutorial, these can only be placed on blocks of diamond. Take everything. Unlike the pressure plates, you can turn these on and leave them on. Yes, I know. Okay, I'm just gonna place all these here so put them there put these here more stuff now you're getting some redstone dust this can only be placed on red wool let's see if you can get through the door i'm just taking everything but i want to put everything up here though okay put this on here this here. Oh yeah, then put them there. Okay. 
good idea placing the lever on the sure, block of diamonds. This will open now the all door. you have to do but is probably can't oh surface to the door in time because it deactivates once you step off it. Okay, that was work. Okay. This is the furthest that redstone dust can transmit full power without extra components. Fifteen blocks will only just make it to power the lamp at the end. Uh. Since the length of redstone dust is sixteen here, it's too long to power the lamp. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a Hako Paco. I can't break it. Uh, gold was this one? Yeah. Redstone dust is strange in that unless it's actually pointing at something, it has no range of power. In this example, all of the range of power you see is from the powered blocks below the dust, not from the dust itself. The levers, on the other hand, power all around them. So you know that redstone power can only travel 15 blocks using redstone dust. That little grey thing right there is called a repeater. It will boost the power back up to 15 and allow it to transmit even further. Count it up. Using repeaters, the power traveled over 40 blocks. Uh, it doesn't really work with this one, though, does it? Just make it short. Eh, apparently it doesn't work for that. Go for this. Tick, 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 and turn, tick, and turn. Yeah, I saw that coming from. So let's see. Something's different up. Oh. At least I'm kind of learning. Notice how long it took for the power to travel through all the repeaters? They can be adjusted to increase the delay of power through them. This shows how the repeaters boost the power back up to 15 strength each time. But of course, repeaters can only repeat if they take in a power level of at least one. Hmm. Each line of repeaters is set to a different delay. See how the lamp lights up at different speeds? Yep, I saw it. Wait, what are these actually for then? Are these like for the exact same reason? Blocks mostly fall into two categories. Most opaque blocks are able to transmit power, whereas non-opaque blocks will not. Of course, there are exceptions. Try them all out or look in the test rooms for more examples later. Blocks of redstone transmit a constant power stream. They can never be turned off, so you don't have to worry about this door closing. Uh, I guess I just placed this on here. This is a piston. When powered, it will extend, which pushes the block of redstone, and then completes the circuit. I know. I've used it. Pistons are unique in that they can draw power from redstone dust running next to them. Most components need the power to be pointed at them, or at a block attached to them. Regular pistons push blocks, but after that, they can't do anything with them. This is a sticky piston. You can tell the difference because it has no slime on how much you try. Sticky or pistons can push you them and pull once blocks. a block is attached, unless oh, you Jesus. use another piston or manually remove it, it will always be attached. Uh guess I try this. Pistons will extend automatically if they are pushed against other power sources. Now you're getting some redstone torches. For the sake of the tutorial, these can only be placed on blocks of iron. Okay, I'm just gonna put a few extra in here. Just in case they actually tell me I need them. 
Oh yeah, you need to place one. Redstone torches are similar to blocks of redstone in that they are usually powered. Unless you power the block they are attached to, then they will turn off. Here you can see when a redstone torch is sitting on a block that gets powered, it will become Using unpowered. Using the unique properties of redstone torches, you can create when you a step chain back reaction off the pressure of plate, it will turn on, back on and off as the power goes through the circuit. Uh, diamond was this, right? This yep. orientation of redstone components is commonly called an AND gate because you'll need to power one side AND the other to turn the middle torch on. That's why I put this on. I, I don't... I don't get it. Am I trapped in this room now? Oh wait, no. This orientation of redstone components is put together in a certain way. In order to get through the door, you must power both redstone torches. This will ah. turn both off, which will allow the final torch to turn on. Oh, it's in here. That's it for the basics. The next room will test your knowledge and give you the key to unlock the test rooms and free build. Good luck. Okay, that's done. Wait, no, it's not. I have no idea. Huh? huh. I think I get. So maybe it's supposed to go like this. Nope. This is a lot more complicated than I thought it would be. Congratulations! What? Take a block of redstone and put it on the block of emerald back at the main hub. I'm just going to replace the sand with this. So, wait, where do I need to go again? Let's see what changes in here. Oh, so I'm just leaving the room. Welcome to Jig's Guide, Redstone Basics. My Wait. name's Jigarbov, and I'll be your guide. To begin your learning, head to the start posters and get oh, yourself a right. minecart. Sit in it and then press the button. Can I just go through? Hey, I should be able to do the free build. Uh, that's a bit annoying. 
Well guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. If you liked it, like and subscribe and I hope to see you again in the